Let's figure out how the Octava MK012 shotgun microphone sounds for podcasting, virtual meetings, or making videos. Octava was founded in Tula, Russia in 1927. The Soviet government brought together a group of engineers and technicians to form the company as part of a push to modernize the country's industry and technology following the Russian Revolution. The team was led by Georgi Nikolaevich Jenjkova, a renowned acoustician, and in 1961, Oh, Yuri, wait a minute, I have to figure out. Yuri Gagarin. And in 1961, Yuri Gagarin, the first human to travel into space, conducted his radio communication from Vostok 1 to the launch control room through an Octava microphone mounted in his helmet. Octava also helped the Soyuz microphone company get off the ground. Well, either that or they simply stole a bunch of engineers from Octava. I can't tell which. This is the film edition, which means that it comes with a hypercardioid capsule and a low cut filter. It comes with a frequency response diagram for the specific microphone that you have purchased. This is a modular microphone system. They make many small, medium and large diaphragm capsules for the body. A 10 dB pad is also available. The capsules, pad and filter simply screw onto the body. I have the low cut filter here, which rolls the frequency response off at 75 Hertz. Let's try it out. I'm running the microphone through the Universal Audio Volt 1 to demonstrate what it sounds like with an affordable audio interface. I have the microphone just overhead, about 20 inches from my mouth, and this is what it sounds like. I wanted to see if this microphone would be a good candidate for off-camera miking for people who don't want a microphone right in their face. Sometimes if you're in a virtual meeting or you're making a video, you just don't want that thing right in your face. It definitely picks up a lot more room noise from this distance. I do have some acoustic treatment in here, but I have high ceilings and haven't covered the entirety of the reflective surfaces. And you can certainly hear that with this microphone. This microphone requires 48 volts phantom power, has a frequency response of 20 to 20,000 hertz, and a maximum sound pressure level of 140 decibels, or as they say, greater than 140 decibels, whatever that means. So you could use this microphone to record the rim shot of a snare drum. Now, I'm going to remove the low cut filter. Yes, I did turn off phantom power before removing the filter for those of you who are concerned. Because this is a hypercardioid microphone, there is a lobe of sensitivity from behind, which can cause it to pick up reflections from the back of the microphone. It also has a narrow beam of focus from the front. So if I move around a lot like this, uh the tone might change a bit. So this microphone will perform best if you're not moving around a lot, or if you hire a boom operator to track your movements. Okay, now the microphone is running through a BAE DMP 1073 preamp and a distressor compressor. The gain is set to 55 and the compressor is set to a four to one ratio. Drop me a comment if you wanna know the details about exactly how I dialed in the compressor for this recording. I still have the microphone just over my head about 20 inches from my mouth. Octava microphones are also popular amongst the mic modding crew. Let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about modifying the MK012. I found a kit that's supposed to improve its sound significantly, and it might be a fun thing to try out. I hope you got something out of this video. I'd also love to know more about who's coming to watch these videos. If you could share something about yourself, why you're here, what brought you to this channel, what you're looking for a microphone for, or if you just like watching videos about microphones, then uh, drop a comment below. Thanks and I'll see you soon.